Okay, so you want to transfer VHS tapes to your computer so you can burn them and make DVDs out of them to save your memories. What you're going to need is a VCR. And if it's old like mine, you might have to go to some place like Walmart and find a universal remote because I had lost mine. You're going to need software and adapters. I will be using the Diamond One Touch Capture, which I purchased on Amazon. There'll be a link down in the description for it. Very easy to use software. That comes with the manual. Comes with your software. It has the Easy Grabber software and Power Director. With the Power Director, you get Power Director 12 comes with the serial code here on the back and it also comes with the video connector it has the video audio and an S video port the other end of the connector has the USB port which will connect to your computer your laptop whatever you choose You will also need a VHS tape with your home movies on it. I do not recommend copying movies that have already been produced because you will get into copyright infringement and I am not responsible for that. So what you want to do first is turn your VCR around. There will be other set of these cables that are supplied with the female ends and you want to go to the out ports on your VCR and you plug in the yellow to the yellow the white to the white and if you have stereo VCR you would plug the red into the red and now you will take the other end And you will plug them in to the adapter. Yellow to yellow, white to white. Next, you will just plug this into your computer, your desktop, your laptop. And we will get started. You will power this up. Right now, I'm going to take this over. I'm going to plug it in, power it up. I will put this software disk in to show you what's coming up. I've already have the programs installed, so let's get started. When you pop in the CD that came with your Diamond One Touch video capture, this is the screen that you'll be pop up. You want to install the Easy Grabber, Power Director and install the drivers. Once you get all those installed, we're ready to go. When I installed my power director, I had uh, trouble with it because it wasn't saying that it was purchased and with a quick email to the company, they sent me a whole new serial code to pop in and now it's all fixed so if you have that problem don't be afraid to email them and explain your problem that it's not working and we'll get ready to go all right now once you have that software in there you are going to want to open up the easy grabber then you will want to go to setup this is the settings that I use video source composite or if you're using an S video put that on but I'm using this one the video format you could choose between all of these depending on your location or whatever you're into this is the setting I use you can adjust all these capture button if you want to do a snapshot or capture video which we're doing here 
and there's your snapshot, snapshot settings if you want a BMP image or JPEG you have the option of where you want to save the files and your record format you can choose between all of these I leave mine set on DVD and then the save folder wherever you want this video to go you choose that there click OK okay now that we're in here pop in your tape go to your VCR over up when you're gonna wanna start it you wanna hit the record button hit the play on your VCR and away you go and all you want to do is hit the stop recording stop on your VCR okay then you can close easy grabber in the folder that we select it down here and then here is the file we just recorded And there you have it and now let me see if we could do this you'll open up your power director you switch to edit import import your files go back to where we were pick that video and you just drag it down into the timeline and you can hit play and there you go a little bit of editing go right to here where it starts hit split timeline hit that and that's when I hit the delete then just hit remove and fill gap and now you can edit and if you don't want something there you can split that Split that, hit your delete, remove and fill, and you'll be on your way. Hope you enjoyed this. Any questions or comments, leave them below. And thanks for watching.